today I got my new winter tires, but obviously before putting them on or as part of the process, we'll have to lift the car. And that is what this video will be about. These are the tools we'll need. Sorry if I don't have the right uh, terms. So uh, since the car is quite heavy, I have a three ton, uh, what is it, car lifter or whatever it's called. Um, some stands, once the car is lifted, put them on the stand so that they don't move. And we'll also block the car from moving with this, uh, whatever it's called in English, that you put in front of the wheels so they don't move. If you care about your hands, which I hope you do, also use some gloves to protect while working. That's just general safety recommendation. Okay, let's get this car lifted. In order to lift the car, there are four uh, places. So there's a little arrow here you can see in this bar, metal bar here, is the place where the jack will go. Sorry, car is quite dirty, so I marked here, you see the little arrow, and the same thing you see here, sorry, this metal bar that uh, will be used to raise the car. If you don't have a dedicated uh, thing to block the wheels, you can also use just wood blocks that you just place in front and in the back of the wheels that will remain on the ground. Well, maybe the other way around would even be better. So like this. Yeah. Put one in the back, one in the back, one in the front. And that way your wheel is secured the car will not move once you get it hoisted once the wheels are properly secured on both sides i'm starting with the back it's time to bring the jack in jack is quite easy to use right uh, just pump it here and this element here goes up and when you want to bring it down you just turn and it goes back down, that's it. Nothing complex, let's move it under the car. And so as we had seen, proper placement is essential. And so we place the jack. And we start monitoring. We raise it slowly. We check that it's in contact appropriately. Not that easy with one camera in the hand. And with the left, but if you see here, the wheel is starting to get off the ground. And this is how it looks like from the back. Indeed, it's not level anymore. Time to place the stands.